Okay, I'm gonna look at this MIWO, MAWO M.2 USB docking station. What I like about this particular model is that it supports both M.2 serial ATA drives and NVMe drives. On the packaging, it shows it has the ability to clone, which it does not. That is just for the models that have two similar ones. This particular unit is the K3016SD, which also includes, it's not really, is it shown on the box? Oh, yeah. Yes, and it includes a SD Express card slot. I don't have any SD Express cards, so I can't test that. This is a simple USB docking station where you can just plug in a M.2 drive and then read off it. Like I said, it supports both NVMe, which is uh, PCI Express and serial ATA based M.2 devices. Uh, a lot of them are keyed, so you can't insert them into the wrong one. Although this particular 128 gig serial ATA one, I can. It won't work in the NVMe one. It's just for demonstration. There are two USB-C ports on the back. Uh, one is strictly power and one is the USB 3. Uh, it's 10 gigabit USB 3. So it's pretty quick for NVMe drives. It's not wire like the proper full speed, but it's pretty quick for an external drive. This thing was pretty hard to find when I first bought it uh, about a month ago, but now it looks like they're kind of readily available. Uh, they're even on Amazon for a lot more. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. And I think Amazon's selling it for like a hundred or something, but you can get them from eBay and all sorts of places now. And yeah, so the reason why I picked this one up is just a really easy way to dock NVMe drives and it supports both because what I was using were two external USB 3 cases that I would just install the NVMe drive in and just read off that. These are kind of finicky to load up each time you guys screw and all that stuff or have it dangling. And yeah, they're not very good for that. So this particular one is very good at just reading M.2 drives whenever you need to uh, just pull something off. I just see it as a really easy way to do uh, any kind of testing if I have to reinstall something onto a M.2 drive or copy files off them. This unit has a fair amount of weight because I, I have actually opened this up before, but there's a big slug of metal which is used as a heat sink, which is conducting heat from the SD Express card slot. So I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if SD Express cards get super duper hot. Seems to me you'd kind of want to cool the controller, but whatever. So like I said, this particular model supports both serial ATA and PCI Express. So it's a fairly complex board. It's got power delivery for um, everything because it's, it's just getting a five volt power supply and it's got to produce, you know, who knows how many voltages for the, the uh, controller IC and whatever an M.2 drive needs. So in the box, there's actually USB type C to C cable and a type A to C cable. The A to C cable is for power, which is from this power adapter, which is not UL listed and claims to be five volt at three amps. So I'm not entirely convinced by that. You know, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I don't. I don't think it's going to be too easy to open up. So one of the things I was concerned about was whether or not it was just a regular SD card. I thought maybe they just called it SD Express and it was just nonsense, but it really does support it. And I tested it with a regular SD card. It will not fit into the slot. So obviously they're keyed differently. Jmicron JMS 581 LT, which does actually support real SD 7.1 SD Express cards and a six gigabit SATA link and a PCIe Gen 3 times two link. So it won't run at full times four speeds. Then again, the USB port kind of limits that. Maybe if they made a 20 gigabit version, they could they could pump it up a little bit. But even then, I think you'd probably still be pushing it. It is a true multifunction controller that lets you use a whole bunch of different interfaces on one board. Yeah, you can see there's space for the cloning mode in the button to enable it. Um, yeah, they're obviously not populated on mine because, uh, yeah, they I guess they don't want you cloning two identical or uh, mismatched drives. And uh, yeah, there's even little spaces for the 
progress LEDs. So it is actually missing components here from our uh, pin out there. With the, looks like serial and um, I squared C. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice board. Um, I would like to see in the future a version that doesn't have this extra space used up for the cloning and put in a 12 volt boost converter so you could have a little PC fan connector. That would be really nice to be able to just plug a fan in and just have it. I mean, you know, they make they make docks that have built in fans, but usually they're they're cheap fans and stuff. So I'd rather just plug in a fan and just sit it next to the unit because NVMe drives especially get very hot when uh, transferring a lot of data. And since you're probably cloning this to your computer or copying massive files, you really need to cool them down. Those controllers just cook. I won't bore you with speed tests or anything because, you know, you're limited by USB uh, 10 gigabit. So uh, all I can say is that it works perfectly in my testing um, and it did mount both drive simultaneously. The SD card may sh share lanes with the uh, NVMe port. So I'm not sure on that. At 40 bucks, I think it is worth it. The only thing I wish is, yeah, if they had a little a little fan port on it. You can run this off your uh, another USB port. It won't run just on the data connection, but if you put both USB and data into your computer, it will actually run it if you have a, a port that can provide decent amount of power. I don't know if you're, if, you know, if you're running two drives or you're running a, a high performance NVMe drive, it may not be enough. But I mean, especially since this thing claims to be three amp. As far as my testing has gone, I haven't had any power problems. And it's got a couple, um, couple little indicator lights here. These, uh, these flash when they're accessing. And there's one for the SD Express card slot. I uh, I really recommend this thing. It works really well for uh, a very kind of niche use, which is a docking station for both types of uh, M.2 drives. But this is pretty much the only solution I found. All the other ones have two of the same type. This particular one, one of each, it's really good.